देश पांडे जी कोट नंबर 133 फ्रॉम विजडम कोट्स फ्रॉम सावित्री इट सेज दिस वर्ल्ड इज गॉड फुलफिल्ड इन आउटवर्डनेस व्हाट डज इट मीन दैट द वर्ल्ड एज वी सी आउटसाइड इज अ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ गॉड yeah it is basically in one stroke savitri is knocking off all the past metaphysical formulations of the spiritual possibilities which were realized by the ancient rishis ancient yogis which had certain attainments of a certain type and who also found certain difficulties in this world they found a sharp division between things which are here and things which they saw in their spiritual experiences elsewhere outside and it was not possible for them to resolve the dichotomy which exists between these two see for instance shankaracharya he has a very powerful spiritual experience of the passive brahman the inactive brahman in other words brahman is there but he is inactive and in this world he is not as if playing any role at all actually for him therefore when he sees this world in contrast to what he experiences in his soul he feels that this world is not really brahman a brahman it is as if mithya it is as if a dream as if it is an illusion now it is this kind of an argument which that is putting forward to savitri savitri says i want the soul of my husband back and yama is telling her look for what this is a word of illusion what will you do with that that is the kind of a thing he would argue with her is a very powerful argument in a certain sense there is mrityu there is suffering there is anguish there is no solution for those things here and why do you want to take him back for this world here now savitri sees from a different angle from a different height her perception her spiritual insights go to a different level altogether and she says that what i see everywhere the presence of the god infinite himself whether it is in trees or in rivers or in mountains in the sky everywhere i see his laughter i see his smiling i see the music of the stars or the planets being played here in this creation this is what constantly happens here and what you are seeing is only a part of the process by which things have come to this stage here man has grown from you may say practically nothing he was in the beginning only made of the vital stuff the animal stuff in the process of evolution which is a long process he has come to a highly evolved mental state but the evolution is not going to stop with that in the very nature of things it has to proceed further it has to get beyond the mental state and if you confine yourself only to the mental state the problems are there but i see that there are possibilities and it is those possibilities which i would like to get realized in this creation here and if she asserts that you are seeing here a world which is not a complete world in fact 
in the truer realization what i see here is that even in the outward movement even in the process of time it is god who is walking it is his steps which i hear everywhere he is one who is fulfilled even in the outward aspects the body is not aware of the possibility of the divine's presence in it that does not mean that the divine is not going to live in this body it is not there does not mean that it cannot be there and i am seeing from that angle tomorrow it has to happen it will happen and it is for that purpose that i have come here my task is to see that god is fulfilled even in the outward movements of this creation in this time process you see that is basically the argument savitri is making here and of course death is going to counter it he will say this is a very dreamy kind of an argument what is the truth of that i don't want your philosophies i don't want your words i don't want your statements i will not take them at their face value what i would like to see is a power which you would have to get that thing established here and that is what savitri will eventually reveal to him it is a power which will really make those things real here and it is that which will make god present here the fulfillment of god in this world will then occur here